and this time is on my first 18 inch review ever and it's on the Friday 13th remake Jason for he's uh, 18 inch by uh, NECA this um, is absolutely amazing this is the best 18 inch I've ever seen and my second favorite is my remake Michael Myers which I'll do a review on later um, this is just awesome the detail is amazing on it I am actually seeing the movie tomorrow I couldn't today I had to go uh, do something but um it's just absolutely amazing um I am not going to take the mask off because if you haven't seen the movie I'm not going to ruin it so I haven't either but I've seen the face so and the face um it's like a fusion of, and it's actually hard to get the mask off, so I'm not going to risk kind of like ruining it, but um, the face is kind of a mixture of part two and, actually it's, I would say it looks most like four, but, oh well. Now let me start the review. The mask is very well detailed. Scoot the camera. The mask is very well detailed. It's got the nice, uh, like tan dirt colors, the whole like watermark looking things dripping out of the holes. It's really good. The eyes have great detail. I know you can only see the one with no pupil, but the other one, they both have great detail. And they're just awesome. For some reason, um, the long dangly hair is hooked to the hockey mask, but if you take that off, you take his hair off. And it looks stupid. I don't know why you would want to display it with the mask off anyway, but. Now, let me get to the jacket and stuff torso area it's very good detailed I don't know if this is like a hunting jacket or something like that but it's pretty cool looking on Jason it's different I like that it's very cool he's got the crisscross pattern on the arms he's got the ripped dirty sweaty uh, sh white shirt it's not really white though on this it's kinda like dirty brownish um, the jacket's very cool it's got the cool ripped sleeve detail very nice the hands are really well detailed. It's got uh, dirt, good like grimy looking fingernails, and uh, that's good. The pants are really good. He's got that machete holder on his leg. You can put the machete in, which is pretty cool, but he came with nothing else, so I don't know why you'd want to do that. But um, And then his shorts, not shorts, he's wearing pants. They have nice rips on them and everything. Really cool. And then the shoes have cool weathering and stuff on them, so. This is, um, if I would rate this figure out of 10, it'd be a 10. That's how good it is. Um, things that he came with was this head with the hockey mask. And the sack head from the original part 2, which they made the movie half and half with it. It's very cool. Then he came with his, in this movie, his machete's really big. You maybe can't tell from this angle, it looks a little smaller, but it's really big. And it's really cool. But uh, let me spin them around really quick. He's actually pretty sturdy, so you don't have to worry about that. Got to make sure I don't scratch the machete on the uh, shelf or the wall. Look at the detail. And that is a good shot of his hair back there. This is the only Jason with the hair looks good on. All the other ones kind of didn't hate it. I thought the Freddy vs. Jason one didn't need hair, and the uh, Pro Bowl Part Two looked okay because he was alive. But and Jason goes to how I didn't like the hair on those two. But it's got the rips and the jacket and everything, which is so cool. It's got mud splattered. It's just awesome. This figure is absolutely awesome, and I believe I'm the first video review of. Uh, this one, this 18 inch figure, I don't know if there's other videos, but I believe I'm the first review. So that's awesome. And, uh, so that's the review, but, um, I want to uh, talk to you about something real quick. 107D Gibson at closest account. Um, that's very shocking. I have no idea why. There was no warning. He did not tell me. Um, it's very shocking. And a lot of YouTube accounts are closing. So can you tell me, um, anybody have any answers, if there's something going on, please tell me because it seems a lot of the horror are closing. I don't know if something YouTube with the rights sounds stupid, but you never know. 
and uh, I will try to stay open for you guys. Thanks for watching, and I uh, hope you enjoyed the review, and uh, please rate and comment and subscribe, and uh, thanks, and more to come. Praise numbers out.